Ernestine. We're moving yes. on to baking empanadas, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what I want to show is um, how we can make the panadas using the, the tuna or a salmon. I've made it with salmon. I've made it with tuna or any kind of canned fish. So I already drained the tuna. So if you could pour it out in that frying pan for me. And then here I have, I have fish that I've washed with some lemon. And what I'll do with this fish now is I'm going to steam it. I'll put it in the steamer and uh, I'll season it. So we're both going to season right now. And then we're, I'm going to put this in, this, um, in the steamer and we'll cook, cook this one down a little uh, so we can get it ready to put in the panadas. Okay. okay. Then next we're going to work on the masa okay. or the corn or okay. dough, which is masa. Okay. So um, here we have our spices. I know I'm going to definitely put some Marie Sharp because everything is better with Marie Sharp. Here I have some black pepper. So um, so I'm going to spice this up. A bit like a quarter teaspoon. So you can put some um, black pepper. Okay. Then I'm going to put a little bit of garlic. This is not garlic salt, just garlic. Just a little bit, like a quarter teaspoon again. Okay. 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 And then I have this, which I like putting in everything. Mm -hmm. This is that. complete seasoning. So you yes. know about complete seasoning. Yes. I love this because this has a whole lot of herbs and okay. other spices in there. Right. Just a little bit. Yeah. And then okay. this one is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite. This we have uh, a little bit of chili peppers and mm. wow. <laughs> this one makes you sneeze. Or wow. <laughs> well, I'm gonna stay far. <laughs> but this is that is great. Okay. This is. And then we can't do anything without Italian a little Marie season. Sharp. Yeah, it's not Italian, but it's Marie Sharp. So now we're going to put just a little, little pinch, because we already have all the other spices, just a little pinch of um, sea salt. Okay. Which is what I normally use, sea salt. Okay. And now I'm going to mix this all up. I'm going to put this in the steamer. So I already have my steamer on the stove. So you now we're going to put the tuna that you uh, drained and seasoned and we're going to cook this on the stove for about maybe five minutes or so just okay. to get it all dry. You don't want it too wet to put into the masa.